about how to be a great entrepreneur, how to be a great leader, how to be a great manager, how to be a great delegator. Has this always been part of your personality or is this also part of how you've built your company through these stories and being able to um, convey the importance of things that are so important to you to others? Um, I think it's, uh, yeah, I mean, I suppose that I've, I've been in a position of being a leader you know, for 45 years now, so, um, and, um, and, you know, from a very young age, you know, before, it's like when I was growing up, my, my um, family brought me up, always to look for the best in other people, um, and I think that's, a, that, that's been a very, um, you know, very important for, for any, any leader of people. Um, and, I, you know, I love people. Um, you know, I, love, I love spending time with people. Um, I love learning from people. I think, you know, being a good leader, you've got to be a good listener as, as much as, um, you know, listening to yourself talking. Um, and, um, uh, you know, but over 45 years, I've learned, you know, I've learned uh, a lot from, from um, making mistakes and, and also occasionally making good things. Um, um, and I think that if you're, if you're fortunate enough to be in a position to, um, to succeed in the inverted commas in life, it's important to try to sh you know, share, um, share ideas with other people. Um, and um, so I do spend you know, a bit of my time um, traveling the world, um, raising a bit of money for our foundation in Africa. Um, at the same time, and um, you know, share, share, sharing a few thoughts. So when you talk about that your family always encouraged you to look for the best in, in others, is that how you were raised? Is that what your home life uh, was like? Is that where yeah. some of these inspirations came from? Yeah, I mean, if I ever, ever dreamt of uh, saying a negative about anybody, uh, my, my parents would send me straight to the mirror and, and um, tell me that, you know, that it just reflected incredibly badly on myself. And um, if I hear, uh, you know, my children say gossiping about somebody, um, you know, I will do the same for them. I think, you know, I think it's so, it's, you know, most people are very decent people. And, you know, if you, if you, if you, if you do look, at, look for the best in, in people, uh, your life is so much more, you know, richer for it. Um, and and it's just so it's just so, so much nicer for 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 everybody and and, um, uh, and if you're actually you know you've got sixty or seventy thousand people working for you and you know if you were to say uh, you know to criticise somebody um, that criticism would be like a sledgehammer I mean it's it, it, it coming from the top uh, so people have to be so careful I think in, in uh, what they say about other people. In our industry, we have a variety of leaders. Thank you. There's a variety of leaders, and you know, we, you know, in the technology industry, there's um, not every leader shares that exact philosophy, and. <laughs> Uh, you know, you experience that because you see, you are friends with a number of these technology leaders, and you see that maybe they're a little more critical or more self-critical. Maybe they're more a little more analytical. Um, how do you juxtapose that against your your leadership philosophy? Well, you know, for some of them, uh, they've sort of proved my philosophy wrong in that they've um, built incredible businesses. Um, Despite treading over people and and, um, uh, and you know acting um, uh, pretty impolitely to people, in, you know um, and as they as they as they build their businesses, um, I think they are the exception to the rule. Um, uh, I think that um, that you know life is short, um, and you'll find that you're going to come in contact with the same people time and time and time again in your life. And I think if you've treated people well, um, they'll want to come back in, in contact with you again. Um, um, if you treat people badly, they may feel it's necessary to come in contact with you again if you're doing well. Um, but um, it's not, you know, it's, you're not leading a very you know, fulfilling life. How do you handle that kind of situation when you have somebody so close to you who, who's not able to perform the task that you've 
delegate to them. Uh, it's never easy and it's not something I'm good at, um, but some, you know, sometimes you just have to accept that, um, you know, and I've brought friends into the company and, um, and, you know, they haven't worked out, they're letting people down and, um, and then I think you just have to sit, sit down with them and have a, have a, a fa you know, face to face with them and, um, and, you know, obviously ideally try to find them a different job within the company and, and, and um, but, uh, if, you know, if that doesn't work out, you just have to let people go. Um, and if you don't, you, I think, lose the respect of everybody else in the company. Is that something that you need to do quickly? Can you let it go for a while? How do you know when it's time to do it? It's great. Here's somebody who employs all these people asking you these questions. I keep wanting to turn the question back on you. <laughs> <laughs> hey, um, they, uh, I let I let these things go too long, to, you know, go on too long, and, and um, I'm quite weak, weak when it comes to that. I think actually it's not a bad trait. I mean, I think um, that if you are running a company and um, and you know you genuinely want to run it like a family, not just say you know we are like a family, but for it to be genuinely like a family, um, it, it should be it should be very a very difficult decision to let somebody go. I mean, if you don't throw your brother or your sister or your, uh, you know, out of the family if they're not working out. So, um, so it has to be quite an extreme situation before you ask, you know, before you let somebody go. Um, and, um, uh, but, you know, the, the, I think in, in, a, in a, a business situation, there are, there are, there are situations where um, you have to, you know, to confront somebody that's just not, you know, not doing their job right. You talked about it, it has to be really like a family, not just saying that you are a family. Um, did you start out with that tenant when you started these businesses, or is that a philosophy that you evolved to? No, I think because I, you know, started out as, um, you know, a six, sixteen-year-old, um, you know, with a, with a group of friends, you know, you know, working all together in a basement, um, uh, you know, we were. You know, we were sleeping with each other. We were, you know, we were, we were a real family. I mean, um, and um, we don't need to go into too much. <laughs> <laughs> it is San Francisco. We have to draw some lines. <laughs> they, uh, uh, so it was uh, anyway. We were we were family, and um, uh, and you know, and I think that um, you know, if I if I I mean, I've sold one or two companies in my uh, lifetime, and it's. It's extremely difficult. You're, you're selling a group of people, um, and um, and uh, and you know, company is just a, is just a group of people.